Today we will study together Unit 7, Lesson 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, and 15. It's about exploring remainders and division strategies. The fourth strategy, area model. How to solve division equation by using area model. 85 divided 3. I will take the dividend 85 and decompose it. Decompose it. How to decompose it? Look. I will write the multiple of 3 first. Look, this is the multiple of table 3 because the divisor is 3. Excellent. Huh. Look at this 8. Is 8 the multiple of table 3? I search first with the highest place value. Don't forget, highest place value here is a tens, so I will look at 8. Is 8 multiple of 3? No. But 8, excellent, between 6 and 9. So you will take 6 or 9. Super, the smaller, uh, smaller than 8. Yes, a 6. So I will divide 8 to 6. Not 6, 60. Why 60? Because 8 is a tenth, not 8. It's a 80. So it's 60. Uh, and the remainder will be 25. Is 25 here? In the table 3, no, not here 25, so I will search, yes, 25 between 24 and 27, so I will take 24 or 27, so but don't forget, I will take the smaller, smaller than 25, 24, uh, which number, I will take 24, so the remainder will be, I have here 60, 24, so it's 84. The remainder will be excellent. 1. Let's solve it. I decompose it. Let's solve it. 60 divides 3. I will draw first the area model. What is the area model? This is rect small rectangles. I decompose 80, 85 to 3 places. I will draw 3 small rectangles. And I will write the divisor here. 3 is a divisor. I will write it here at the width of this rectangle. And I will write the a number inside the rectangle. 60, 24, and the remainder 1. Inside the rectangle. And here I will write... Excellent, the quotient. Let, let's make a division and write here and at the length of this uh, rectangle, the quotient. 60 divided 3 equals super 20. 24 divided 3 equals super 8. So now I have the quotients. Quotient will be 20 plus 8. It will be 28. And don't forget remainder 1. I will ask you a question. I have only one way to decompose 85. No. You can decompose 85 by several ways. You choose the way you want. Nothing wrong. Okay? Nothing wrong. This is another way. Look at the slide 85 now I will decompose it by another way I will decompose it 30 I will choose here to take 30 30 smaller than 85 nothing wrong and another 30 30 plus 30 60 I still here and 24 84 Her remainder will be I reach to 84 30 plus 30 plus 24 is 84 has a remainder excellent one Her, let's build your area model let's draw the small rectangles here I will draw how many rectangles super four rectangles four small rectangles I will write first what Sober the divisor at the width of this rectangle and inside the rectangle I will write the number I decompose 85 to no small numbers I will write this dividend 
small numbers inside the rectangle 30 30 24 and the remainder 1 now i will solve it i will get the quotient ha huh. 30 divided 3 equals 10 super ha huh. 30 divided 3 again 10 24 divided 3 excellent 8 so the quotient of the equation will be 10 plus 10 plus 8 so will be 28 the same answer here so you will decompose the, the dividend as you want anyway okay let's take another example this is story problem read with me Grade 4 in a school has 558 pupils distributed equally into 5 groups. Okay, distributed equally. That means it will be super, it's a division. Distributed equally, it's a division. How many pupils are there in each group and how many pupils are left over? What is the other word of left over? Yes, excellent, great job. Awesome, it's a remainder. Sure, yes, good job. The equation will be 558 divided 5 to get the number of pupils in each group. Huh. To use area model, first I will decompose the dividend. Huh. Decompose the dividend according to what? According to the multiple of divisor. Yes, first don't forget to write the multiple of divisor. Multiple of table 5. Hmm. First, look at the highest place value 5. Huh. 5 is a multiple of table 5? Yes, 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 it's super easy. Yes, 5 is a multiple of table 5. 5 is here. So it's 5, but I write it here 5? No, this 5 is 500. Don't forget it's 5 in 100 place. So it's 500. The second one, second 5. 5 is a multiple of 5? Yes. I I found it before, so hmm, I will write 50. Excellent! It's not a five. It's 50 because five here in a tenth place is a 50. Sure. Huh. The last one is a eight. Eight a multiple of two in table five? No, eight not here. So I will search where is eight? Eight between five and ten. Eight between five and ten. So I will take five or ten. Awesome! I you will take five because it's smaller than it. I will take five, and the remainder will be from eight to five. How many? Three. So the remainder will be three. Let's build our area model. I will draw how many rec uh, small rectangles. Four small rectangles. Excellent. I will write here at the width. Yes, the divisor 5 and I write down the dividend what I decomposed before 550 and 5 and the remainder 3. Hmm. Down on the length of this rectangle, I will write the quotient. Super. 500 divided 5 equals. Great, 100, huh? 50 divided 5 equals, yes, 10, and 5 divided 5, it's super easy, it's 1, super. The quotient, the number of pupils in each group will be 100 plus 10 plus 1, it's 111 pupils. Don't forget to write the yes, okay? And the remainder, the leftover, will be super, will be three. Let's solve our division equation by using the fifth strategy, partial quotient. What's the meaning of partial quotient? Look at this division equation. It's 85 divided 3. This is 85 dividend, and the 3 is a divisor. Excellent. Huh. First, I will write, yeah, the multiple of 3 to solve the division equation. First, I will write the multiple of table 3. And look at 8 or 5, the 
the highest place value is the eight. Eight is the multiple of three. No, eight not in table three. So eight between six and nine. You should take. You should take six. Excellent. But six is here is not a six. It's a sixty. Why? Because eight in tens place. Eight not eight. Not eight is eighty. Sixty divided three equals the quotient. Twenty. Excellent. And now I will subtract sixty from eighty-five to know the remainder. The remainder will be twenty-five. Excellent. Ha! Huh. I will look at two or five. Excellent. The two because two is the highest place value. The tens. Ha! Huh. Two in the multiple of three. No. Also, two is smaller than three. I can search for it in table three. If the highest place value is smaller than the divisor. You should take the whole number, the 25, not only 2. 25. Let's search for 25 in table 3. Is 25 multiple of 3? No, but 25 between 24 and 27. So you should take 24, the smaller. Excellent. 24. 24 divided 3 equals? Sure, 8. And I will subtract 24 from the dividend to know the remainder. The remainder will be 1. Excellent. The quotient 20 plus 8. Quotient will be 28. And remainder 1. Let's solve another one. Hmm. Read with me. Hadi has 347 marbles if he wants to distribute them equally into four boxes. How many marbles are there in each box? And how many marbles are left over? Uh, left over mean? And here you write, remainder, right. Distributed them equally, I will make hmm, division, sure. 347 divided 4. So the dividend is 347. The divisor will be 4. First, first step, I will list what? Multiple of table 5. 4. Excellent. First step, I will list multiple of table 4 because 4 is the divisor. Multiple of table 4. <clears throat> and look at super 3 because 3 is 100. Yes. Ha, three, yeah, but three is smaller than four. Hmm, how can I do that? Super, I will take four with three. Excellent, I will take four from, with three. It's a 34. 34 in a multiple table four? Is a multiple table four? Mm, no, but it's between 32 and 36. You should take super. 32 because it's smaller than 34. So 32 divided 4. Sure, I can't write 32 only because 3 is 100. To the tens, I must put a 0 to make 3 is a, as 100 and 2 as a tens. Don't forget to put this 0 instead of 7. So 320 divided 4 equals. Use related fact, 32 divided 4 equals, shoo, excellent, 8, and drop the 0, so it's 80. Now I will subtract this dividend from the main dividend. So the result will be, the remainder will be 27. I will take 2. No, 2 is smaller than 4. I must take 27. 27 is a multiple in table 4? No, but 27 between 24 and 28. You should take 24. 24 divided 4 equals? Excellent, equals 6. Huh, let's make subtraction. The dividend from the main dividend to no the remainder. The remainder will be 3. And the quotient will be, yes, quotient of first board and quotient for second board is 80 
plus 6 equal 86 marbles number of marbles in each box 86 and the leftover remainder will be 3 uh, we have finished you did a great job mass always is fun you know yeah i love you and love mass and goodbye bye bye